everybody, and a special hello to Miss Vasquez's class. Today we're going to be learning about some of my favorite critters, insects. And what better way to start off than with the insects that you guys have in class today. I have here some special little friends of mine, the stick insects. So stick insects are commonly found, these ones in particular, in Asia. Hey nature girl, print me up a map. So we live here in North America and our little stick friends live in Asia. These guys are really cool. Some of their ways of staying alive with all the predators that want to eat them birds and stuff like that they pretend to be sticks and some of these predators are none the wiser in the jungle where they're from they love to eat all kinds of foliage all kinds of leaves here at home they love to eat rose bushes and blackberry bushes and when a stick insect like this one here loses a leg somehow they're able to regrow them every time they molt when they grow they have to molt and they get a whole new outside skeleton like their skin and when that happens they're able to grow back some of the appendages that they lose. These guys are great at pretending to be sticks. And they get big. Bigger. They get even bigger. These guys are just great, some of my favorites. And you can even keep them as pets at home and they're very easy to take care of. And they're just so neat to watch. I've got another guy to show you guys, but... Oh, he was hitching a ride. Here we have A Madagascar hissing cockroach. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are found in Madagascar, which is in Africa, off the coast of Africa. These little guys aren't your typical cockroach. They get pretty big. And the reason why they're called hissing cockroaches is because in their body, they hold gases like air and they squeeze it through their body to make a hissing sound when they're in trouble or when they're trying to get a girlfriend. This one's a little too young to hiss. But man, are they cool. And their feet are so specially adapted that they can climb up any surface, even smooth glass. Here, we can take a look at the bottom of him and see his little legs. And right here is his head. And his head is protected by this shell on the top. This is called their pronotum. A nice little shield to protect their head that likes to hide underneath it.
Madagascar hissing cockroaches are a lot like our stick insect friends. They eat a lot of foliage. Leaves and stuff that fall on the ground in the jungle where they live. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are also unlike many other cockroaches that in that they do not have wings. They're wingless. They also make really easy and fun pets to have. All right, where's my spooky kids at? Who likes the spooky stuff? Because I got a creepy little guy for you today. This is my little friend, the Death's Head Cockroach. Can you guess how he got this name? Check out his pronotum. Looks like a creepy face. The Death's Head Cockroach comes from South America. We live here and they live here. Unlike the Madagascar hissing cockroach, the Death's Head Cockroach has wings. You can see them displayed on the back here. Because they're so heavy, they can't take flight for very long periods of time. So they're kind of like chickens where they just flutter to the ground. Just like our stick insects and the hissing cockroach, the death head cockroach always feeds on plant life. All right, you guys, it's been real fun teaching you about bugs. Keep doing good in class. Whoop. Keep learning about nature and helping protect it. And hopefully someday soon I'll be able to come into class with all kinds of critters for you guys to check out. That'd be awesome. Hopefully soon. All right, you guys, be good, and we'll see you later.